previously on the Pride of Edinburgh. In the last episode, we took on Partick and we won 3 1 at our place before we took on Owen Coyles, Ross County, at their place and we won 3 1. In this episode, we take on St. Johnson at East Road, then it's a couple of way days against Rangers and Aberdeen. Edinburgh, home of royalty, culture, and tradition. It's also home of two classic Scottish clubs, but there's only room for one of them. Welcome to the Pride of Edinburgh. So we kick it off with this match up against St. Johnston. Uh, we come into this in an excellent run of form. Uh, St. Johnston all over the place. Uh, we are third, St. Johnston are fifth. So I'm reverting back to my tried and trusted formation of old of a 4-3-3. Uh, in goal, Marciano, Whittaker, Erkstrand, Ambrose, Gray, McGinn, McTomney, McGow, Ajara, Swanson, Murray up front. Our visitors going with a 4-4-2. Let's go, boys. And St. Johnston with a couple of early uh, attempts on goal. Marciano boots this goal kick straight back to St. Johnston. And here they come. Ambrose though cleans up house. Marciano looking for a better distribution options this time. But again, does the same deal. Can Hibbs get a hold of it? They certainly do. Murray. His shot is up and wide. Marciano though again with a goal kick, punts it long, no real target there, just kind of hit and hope. St. Johnson though, building nicely, making a whole host of tactical changes there, trying to expose St. Johnston a little bit. Not sure if that had anything to do with it, I don't think so, but uh, maybe I shouldn't have made up with all them changes. But I'm doing it anyway, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. Booted long, Murray deals with it. Ajara runs in the box. Swanson's there, just keeps it alive, but it'll be a corner. McGow will take. Poor, very poor. Gray, McGow, McTomney, Swanson. Keeping it wide, which is what I was hoping for. McTomney. Murray's in there. His shot's parried behind for another corner. And once again, it's absolutely woeful. Half an hour gone, one nil up. Ooh, straight in the arms of Marciano. He will now hopefully distribute this nicely towards Murray. Hibs get a hold of it though, then they lose it, obviously, because that's how it goes. To Easton, Adelaine. Break it up. Nope. Marciano. Down to safe. Swanson with a free kick. To McGinn. Plays it short and he smashes it well over. Throw in once again for St. Johnston. Cross in there. Had a clear room as far as another player in Adelaide. Tucks it in there. The young Arsenal Loney. And St. Johnston right back in it. So, moral of the story. Do not touch anything. Since the goal... I obviously changed a lot of shite and I don't really see much of the ball since then. But here we go. Maybe maybe it's uh, only a little bit of patience. McGow. McTomney. Oh, no. Here comes St. Johnston. Break it up. Break it up, people. Deal with it. Deal with it. That's not really dealing with it. As we crawl towards the halftime whistle. It's not been great. Second half, folks. Let's get it underway. Swanson with what? Yeah. McGow gets the ball though. Dinks it in there. Tries to set up Murray. But here comes St. Johnston. He's fouled. And that's going to be a pen for St. Johnston. Come on, Marciano. Big fella. Oh, that was woeful. I was going to give credit to Marciano, but he didn't even touch it. And it stumbles in there. McTomney gives us. A squeaky clean, just about lead, 2-1. Now, uh, not long left in the season. I think we've got, after this game, we've got four games left. We'll have two, of those, two more of those in this video. 
Um, and then we'll wrap it up with another video with the last two games of the season. But my point, once we deal with this, is uh, part one of the challenge, my own challenge that I set myself, has been completed already. And that was to finish above Hearts. They cannot get above seventh, no matter what. They can remain, win the remaining five games and they will uh, still be below us in the table. So we are, in fact, the pride of Edinburgh. Obviously, if we lose all five games, you know, it won't affect that. Obviously, we don't want to lose all five games. But it's just part one mission accomplished. Now, it will go into the next season. Um, hopefully, we will uh, be able to improve. Because at the minute, we, we got a chance at finishing third. I don't know if we will. Aberdeen uh, play tomorrow. And we'll see how the rest of the season plays out. We've got to play Rangers. I don't think we have to play Celtic, so that's... We must have to play Celtic. We must have to play Celtic. What am I talking about? But anyway, it's uh, it could go it could go our way. It could go Aberdeen's way. In fact, someone else might even snatch it from us. Excuse me. Somebody else might snatch it. Maybe, maybe even St. Johnston. You never know. But um, it's been a good season in, in the bigger picture. There were some rough times. He's got to go. He was... Okay, only, only a yeller. Free kick, though. McGow will take it. Take your time, son. Ambrose. McGinn. McTomney's shot is just wide. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to next season. Like maybe I can uh, pick up some new additions to the club and try and uh, really stamp my authority on it. Uh, still, you know, still a few games to go, but definitely I need a, a striker. Um... Maybe a new keeper. I don't know. Got a lot of ideas. But money is the issue. Marciano. Murray's in. He's probably one of our most sellable assets. Murray. But I don't really want to sell him. He's decent. We need, uh, we need figureheads like him. Also, we'll have Joey Barton next season, so that's something to get a little bit excited about. Maybe see what he can do for Hibs. So it's a bit, bit high-profile uh, addition. McGinn, Majara. And that corner is dealt with, and it's over. So in the second match of this video, we take on second place Rangers. Uh, win here. <laughs> I doubt we'll win here because we've lost all three of them since we played them. But if we do win, then maybe, just maybe, we can hang on for this third spot. And that was absolutely bonkers um, because I didn't expect to be this high. Uh, the big match, though, I think is next time out when we take on Aberdeen. So here we go, folks. This is the starting 11. Go in the same formation as the last match. Marciano in goal. Whitaker, Hanlon, Ambrose, Gray, McGinn, McTomney, McGow, Ajara, Swanson, and Murray up front. Our uh, hosts come with a 4-3-3. They're playing down the middle. Let's see what we can do at Ibrox. So we're playing a bit wide. They're playing very uh, narrow. So... Could either be one of those days. Ajara, Swanson. Swanson, cross it, son. Murray's effort. It's probably our best one that we'll have all day. Are we bossy enough? Are we bossy enough to push him wide? Morelos, his effort is uh, just wide. Corner, though, for Hibbs. Swanson. Ambrose is in there. Aberdeen get their noses in front against Dundee. Obviously, uh, we're expected to lose here. And uh, I think Aberdeen were expected to lose against Celtic, which they did last weekend. Come on, deal with it, deal with it, deal with it. Penalty, uh, obviously. Come on, Marciano, big fella, do it. Do the biz. No, Taverna sends them the wrong way a little bit. Let's try and get some control of this bad boy. Whitaker. Oh my goodness. 
Morelos makes it two. 17 minutes gone. This could be nasty. Obviously, got to watch that goal difference as well. In fact, I've just noticed that they have a game in hand. Ugh. McGinn loses it. Herrera's shot is parried behind for a corner. Now, let's just get rid of this and deal with this situation. Okay, dealt with. So, I can't, I can't breathe without them getting another highlight. Ugh, effort cleared off the line. Whitaker, Tavener's shot is wide. Yeah, I'd like to find myself a couple of little hidden gems in the summer. Maybe some um, some Chinese fellow can come in and dominate uh, the Scots Prem uh, or South American or something like that. Like a little Morelos or a, a Herrera. Um, obviously, on a bit of a bargain level we're talking here. So uh, if you are watching, which only a few of you guys are, you know, but if you are watching and you've got any tips for me, any pointers, any hidden gems, let me know. So, second half underway, only 2 0 behind. Ajara cleans up. Miguel, McTomney, Ajara. That's what we've left, we've resorted to. And a side note, Swanson. Cheeky little bugger. There's a little bit of hope in us here for this one. So, what I was about to say before uh, that cheeky we highlight, come on, get rid of it, is that um, Murray, Ajara, Murray, is fouled, but they play on. The, the influence of that third place for us next season is pretty big. It could, you know, Europa League football awaits, and that could, you know, entice a few players. Uh, that may have not wanted to come out to us um, without Europa League football. And Balak restores the order for Rangers. 3-1 up. And the goal swing is still three goals in it. Aberdeen winning against Dundee. I'd love Dundee to, to get an equaliser. That would be, that'd be great. Hearts winning. They now have more points than 6th place Dundee, but they don't go anywhere. They don't go anywhere. Last 10 minutes of the match. It's been an okay performance by Hibs coming at Ibrox. Uh, Hibs still trying to... Ooh, that's a bit of a cheeky wee effort. McGow will take this corner. It's dealt with McGinn. Back out to McGow. Hanlon. Ambrose. Swanson crosses. Come on, boy. It's fouled. Yeah, Rangers still competing. For the title, it's not over yet. And Aberdeen uh, have the points in the bag for today. And they've uh, closed that goal difference to just one. So a goal here by Rangers could make it a little bit of an uphill struggle. Ah, shit. 4-1. Now it's not looking good. Let's take a look. Yep, we've dropped down to fourth. Officially down to fourth. Ajara. Swanson. Crossed it, son. So, lick our wounds, get back on it. So that result puts us down into fourth place. We've played one game more than Aberdeen, but guess what? We take down them punks next. So in the last game of this video, we take on Aberdeen at their place. It's third versus fourth, and we need to win this if we're going to try and steal that third spot right under the noses of Aberdeen. So, I'm going to stick with the... Uh, tried and trusted formation which didn't really do anything of any justice in the last game but anyway here it is Marciano in goal Whitaker, Hannon, Erkstrand, Ambrose, McGinn, McGow, Ajara, Stokes, Swanson, Murray uh, am I going to go with that? I'm going to go with that and our host going with a 4-2-3-1 no Rooney in the starting 11 that's a blessing okay let's go And 10 minutes gone. And here come Hibbs. Ambrose quite forward. Murray's in there. Dinks a shot over the top. And we have our noses in front, people. And that pushes us to third with that one goal difference ahead of Aberdeen. But a long way to go yet. Ajara. Back to Marciano. Play it nicely. Murray gets it again. Sets up Stokes. 
This is your chance, Stokes. I've given you like quite a few chances. Meanwhile, up in Glasgow, big I brought a uh, big Air Glasgow derby, which could settle where the championship goes. I'll give you an update on that in just one second. Here comes Swanson, though, trying to, you know, add to our tally. Dinks around a load of players. Murray's in there. He's eventually headed back. McGow cleans up and gives it right away to Aberdeen. But we fight back. Here comes Swanson. Ajara. Back to Swanson. Cross it. Cross it. Murray's in. Stokes is in there. Woo! Nicely done, son. You're the best player ever. 20 minutes gone. We are 2 0 up. Uh, yes, so as it stands, Rangers need to win this one to have any say in where that title is going. Over the top, here comes Christie, and his shot is up and over. Well, 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 folks. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about third in just a second because it's still a long way to go, and I and I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's in the bag because it's not. We've we've seen bigger leads collapse. Yep. Been, it's been like that this season. But, wait for it, Swanson. Floats it in there. It's going to be a pen. No? That, that would have been that would have been an icing on the cake. But here come Aberdeen counter-attacking. It's actually uh, held up a little bit. And Maynard's in there. It's eventually cleaned up. Hibs to go again. McGow stokes over the top for Murray. Dink it in there, son. Get it in there. Get it in there. That's 3-0. That's 3-0 at Aberdeen. It does put us on uh, third place with a good goal difference against them. But we do take on Celtic, which in the last game of the season... Um, Christie shot. Maynard's in there. He's... Uh, yeah, a bit of fight back now by Aberdeen. I can expect them... I don't expect it to finish this way, but we do need to try and maintain this lead. We've got to come away with two points, three points even. Um, get rid of it. Oh my goodness. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So, it's only the one one goal lead and uh, I expect it. Look at that. Look at that. Just threw it all away. Okay, maybe less attacking, perhaps, Swanson. Miguel. Handling. Let's. Uh, I need to focus now. Sorry, I'll uh, take my mind. Celtic. Celtic have got a lead. Miguel. Murray looking for a hat trick. Not whether that kind of shooting. So it looks like it could be going to uh, the green half of Glasgow. Is that really surprised to anybody? Probably not. Marciano kicks it towards Stokes um, uh, over the top, and he does get the ball of it. Murray's in there, and we are back with a two-goal cushion. Whew. Murray with a hat-trick. Okay, so I can breathe a little bit easier for the time being, but um, yeah, regardless of this result, we've still got a bit of an uphill struggle. Need to beat Dundee at home in the next uh, video, as well as beating, or at least doing something with Celtic, and hope for the best, it's 5-2, and Stokes has had a blind eye. He's on the transfer list at the moment. Um, he might be able to salvage something. Two goals and two assists for Stokes. Three goals and two assists for Murray. Big tackle. McGinn cleans it up. Here comes Murray. We ain't going to get onto that. Okay, Stephen runs his little socks off. Maynard was in there. Some big tackles coming in by Hips to try and keep this three goal cushion McLean's in there how many goals uh, are in this game it's three out in three Hibs five Erkström stalling it's a it's a highlight straight from kickoff which um, I'm hoping is for us but it doesn't look like it and that shot is just wide take from Aberdeen again McKay Stevens Tanse shot is wide. Last 13 minutes or so, give or take. I don't really... Oh, he has to come off. So, 17-4. Hibs, 5. Five minutes of injury time. There is time for another goal, surely. Boyle loses it. Here come Aberdeen. Over the top. This would be a train wreck. It's a train wreck. It's an absolute train wreck. 
here I am giving the, the big the big one thinking we're gonna get stinking third and we should have really got third it, that's that's a bit of a disaster Maynard I've had to change as well a lot of my key players but we've 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 this is this is a mad mad whirlwind of a game I don't understand it come on people let's get rid of this ball that should be a lot. Marciano, just get rid of it. Biggest kick of your life. Tomney, Stokes, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Come on. That should be a lot. Surely. Yeah, piece of cake, folks. Piece, piece of cake. I knew we'd have that game. Yeah, no, no problem. And that result keeps us in third by one goal. Yeah, it could have been as high as three or four goals, but yeah. And Celtic are champions of Scotland. So in the next and final video, it's a double header, double header, home header. Ooh, trying to say that five times fast. Dundee at home, Celtic at home. Can we finish third place? That's what's left on the table. Join me next time. Find out. And reach for the summit featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.